Welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be a bit different. It's not about sim racing, but it's going to be about a program that I use called Rewazd, which allows me to program my Elite controllers buttons to do anything that I really want it to do. Uh, the official software that comes with the Elite or Xbox software it allows you to map the back pedals and buttons to other buttons that are actually on the controller. So, which is helpful somewhat, but I would like to be able to you know map keyboard keys, mouse functions, and things like that. And this software allows me to do that with the back paddles. So it's very useful. So one of the things I really use it for is to auto walk and auto run in games like RPGs or first person shooters. Uh, like right now I'm playing Borderlands 3. And there's a lot of walking and running in that game. So what I wanted to do is show you how you can set up your controller using the software to automatically run and walk and then switch it off quickly and get to shooting or whatever you're doing. So it's just an easy thing to do. I like this software. I've been using it for a couple of years now. Uh, it can be a little bit expensive. They have multiple different features that this software allows. and Each one is priced individually. But usually you can find it on sale for maybe 15 to 20 bucks with all the features included. And you can have it for, licensed for one PC. Uh, but it's really nice. So I not only sim race, I play a lot of games. And I'll have my computer hooked up to my television, television as well. And so I like to use a controller. I like to sit back and relax. I have my surround system going on. I have my butt kickers in my sofa. So I just really enjoy that. So I play a lot of games uh, with the controller. So I just want to show people how to map this. Do this. It's really helpful and really easy to do. And if other people like this, I can do other videos showing other functions that I use. Uh, but we'll just start with this auto walk and auto run. So it's really easy to set up. Like I said, I'm just programming buttons to different things. So you can see this is the main menu. Uh, the right now, these buttons aren't, or the you know, X is an X, Y is Y, whatever it is. That's what it says it is. Uh, the ones that you've actually programmed have this uh, bar here to the key. So right now, like I have the Xbox button mapped to F5, so I can do quick saving and things like that. And then down here at the uh, paddle button. So if I go back here and select this option, now I've got my back paddle. So as you can see, the left bottom, I have set to two functions. I have it set to basically hold down the W key on the keyboard and press the left stick. So there's two different types of games. There's games that support controller and keyboard at the same time, which this is a mapping for. And then there's games like Fallout 4, which doesn't do that. So you could e you have to play with the controller. You can't mix and match. But I have another setting for that, and I'll show you that in just a second. So in this game, like I said, I have this map to two different functions. So if I click this, this is how you map it. Up here is the different types of button clicks. So you got uh, single click, single press, long press, double press, things like that. So for single press, I have it set to a gamepad mapping of left click. When I click it, I block Borderlands 3, I start running. So I like that. And then for double press, I found that to be the easiest way. I have my rewaz mapping set to the W key. To change that, you can just hit any keyboard, any keyboard key on your keyboard, of course. Or you can go down here to say key combo. And this brings up all the different uh, combinations that you can do. Like I said, there's all kinds of things. Uh, very, very rich software. So we'll go back here and I will say click W. I'll go back and I click this toggle. Boom. There we go. So now if I double click it, It'll automatically hold W and automatically run or walk depending on what my current uh, status is. If I'm running, I can hit it once to start running. Actually, I can hit it double click to start walking, then click it again once, and then I start running. And it continues that until I click the button and it goes away. So I do that when I'm just running between areas and when I have to stop to shoot th things, turn it off, and then I'm just regularly pressing up and doing stuff like that. So that's how you do it on games that support controller and keyboard. So we'll go to my one that's on Fallout. It's basically the same thing, but it, the software has to do something different in order to get it to work. Uh, so here's the main screen for Fallout 4, and as you can see here, every single button is actually mapped. So what it kind of does is it creates a virtual joystick that maps all the buttons across the controller like it normally would. And so it looks funny, it looks strange, but really you don't really have to touch anything. And it will do this automatically. Once you set to use, because basically in this setup, we're just going to be mimicking the left stick being pressed up. And it's going to hold that. I'm holding W, it's just going to press the left stick up. As soon as you set that to toggle, all these things just magically appear on the screen. It makes a virtual joystick. We'll go back here to the back again. 
And for Fallout 4, I've noticed I can't put these on the same button as before. I can't automatically run. For some reason, I'm not sure what that is. So I made, basically made two buttons. Like before, this is the left click, easy. And this one, as you can see, I have a, it's not applicable. So I've actually turned off the mapping. So when I click it once, it automatically holds the L button. So I'll click this right here to show you what I've done. As you can see here, gamepad mapping, I have to unmap. Because I don't want it to do anything but press the left stick up and hold it. From here, I can go to key combo. Once again, you got all the different settings. And here we go to the left stick, up or down. They're all in the same uh, icon. So here, depending on what this value is, how much of the stick, either forward or backward, is getting pressed. So I want to go all the way forward, so I hold 100. Go back here, and then I click this toggle button. So now I'm toggled. So when I click that button, I'm automatically running or walking, depending on my current speed. That's basically it. And then I have to go up here and hit apply, and that will apply this uh, configuration to my controller. You can also auto detect different applications like I have here. Uh, so when, it, when I start Fallout 4, it recognizes that and will automatically load this profile. So this thing can do many different functions, but this, I just want to do a quick tutorial over how to uh, set it up to do uh, auto walk and auto run in different games. So, like I said, if you find this software on sale, it's kind of worth it. It can do a lot of different things. It can do uh, keyboard control. I mean, you can actually use it to control your browser. I do that a little bit as well. And I'll give some tutorials on that later. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it's something you want to see again. And we'll see you out there gaming.